DS software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.reslibrary.com Hi everybody, Professor Mohamed Sharaf with you. Uh, let's talk today about uh, solar photovoltaics for bombing units. Uh, what is the main concept of uh, such configuration, the system engineering, and how we can run our model via Ritz library? First of all, the concept is simple. We have a bomb unit and we are going to deal with uh, its load. For solar photovoltaics, it's a significant sort of source of energy uh, for bombing uh, on irrigation farms of uh, all sizes. Central component of uh, in, in all solar photovoltaic irrigation solutions is an array of panels that convert sunlight uh, to DC uh, uh, electricity to be used for uh, the bombing load. The amount of power generated is a factor of uh, the area of the panels and the intensity of uh, uh, sunlight also. Power requirements for uh, irrigation can be uh, substantial, requiring uh, a large solar PV installation, typically uh, from 1 kilowatt up to uh, 300 kilowatts, especially in Australia, uh, for example, uh, especially if integrated with uh, or integrated with a uh, grid connection solution. The components as a comp uh, comprise such systems typically include solar array uh, uh, inverter unit to convert dc uh, to uh, ac and uh, power controller uh, controllers um, and electric bump uh, in order to lift uh, the water from the source and to move it uh, to uh, the delivery uh, uh, points as you can see here we have solar array uh, uh, inverter unit from DC current to AC current control unit a motor of the bomb and, and the bomb system this system is simple uh, and uh, we're going to discover how to uh, to deal with such systems uh, usually the system components are a solar panel uh, uh, bump and tank or the source uh, or uh, the sink, uh, I'm sorry, the sink. For our model, we are going to discover the following uh, by uh, by uh, by some specific specified parameters such as solar radiation, watt per meter square or kilowatt hour per meter square, and of course the solar panel power. We are going to assign the solar panel power. We have different types of solar panel panels. So our model uh, is addressed to for from 0.5 watt up to uh, 280 watt uh, module type. Uh, and sure, um, the load from the bomb is the total system power. The total system power, uh, uh, it, it will be calculated uh, from the bombing unit. Okay. So we are going to uh, discover the following open short uh, open circuit voltage uh, short uh, circuit uh, current maximum voltage maximum current number of cells per module number of modules the total system area because it's a design model and the battery uh, battery capacity cost uh, uh, and so on so for any designer who are going to uh, discover uh, what is how many areas that I'm going to use in my farm uh, based on my bomb uh, specification? So we have to uh, deal with such model. For bombing model, we are going to discover the power, which is uh, very important for uh, as a load on the PV, the torque, bomb operation, actual head head losses, specific speed. Uh, hub diameter, shaft diameter, in order to go to uh, uh, the mob specifications uh, before going to to the market. Okay, how we can run our model? Let's see how we can deal with this. First of all, we have to ask, go to uh, after you, you download your model, go to uh, the uh, to your path and simply click on uh, PV bombing mode. Okay, 
Let's see now. Okay, this is our model. Uh, first of all, double click on this uh, block. Is some uh, brief uh, specification. We can go to uh, the link to see some tutorials or something like this. Okay. First of all, uh, let's emphasize this. Yes, we have to deal with only two components. This is a bombing unit and systems, bombing unit, and uh, the photovoltaic system. Let's see uh, from the beginning. The bombing unit. Okay. Double clicking on this, we have to deal with inlet bomb tem uh, feed temperature. Uh, let's see if we are going to specify uh, around, for example, uh, uh, 20. Uh, the bomb static head, I will assign it at um, 20 meters. Uh, the floor rate, uh, let's uh, floor rate, I will assign it at 60 meter uh, cube per hour. Um, bombing RBM, let's go for 1700, it's most typical. And uh, suction pipe diameter, I think um, 10 centimeters for inlet or outlet, mm, I think it's, uh, I would consider it. Uh, you, sure, you can. Uh, uh, reconfigure these parameters as you would like. For minor losses, you have to choose. Uh, I will keep it. It's elbow regular, uh, 90 degrees, threaded, flanged, uh, and so on. How many elbows, how many bends, how many teeth, valves, uh, uh, and so on. And the performance of the bump, I will assign it, I keep it at, let it be 80%. 80, 70, 75, 65, and so on. So, this is the bombing unit. Let's go for a uh, photovoltaic module. We have to deal with uh, two types. Uh, if you are going to uh, to, uh, to deal with a solar radiation as a matrix, intensely, I mean, uh, uh, instant solar radiation for what per meter square? For accumulation, accumulated solar radiation or total solar radiation per day, we are going to deal with uh, a kilowatt hour per meter square. Let's do it. Okay. For photovoltaic system, let's see. Uh, for this is kilowatt hour per meter square. We have to assign some parameters. Uh, let's go for the module type. I, I will choose. 220 watt module type uh, battery depth of charge battery volt uh, performance of the battery cost of the battery and operating hours how many hours that we are going to deal with uh, yes total solar flux uh, total solar addition we are going to i will assign it at uh, five as accumulation uh, and hit apply. The other module type, the, the next one is a little bit different. We have to assign this for per watt per meter square, okay? Not kilowatt hour per meter square. And the rest is the same. Okay, let's see. Uh, first of all, let's see. This is a bombing unit. Let's hit our run and see what is our load. <coughs> on the PV system. Yes. For PV system, the bombing work is uh, 4 kilowatt. Yes, this is 4 kilowatt because we we are dealing with uh, 20 meter and 60 meter cube per hour. For example, if I, uh, I make it 10 at and, and the head is 10, for example, Let's see. Yes, 0.3. Uh, because there is some kind of reduction in, uh, in mass flow rate and uh, the head, total head. 
aesthetic it. Yes, let's return again for four kilowatts. Let's see. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, four kilowatts. This is the torque. Uh, bumping pressure. Um, actual head. This is uh, uh, bumping total losses. Okay. Uh, centrifugal bump, uh, yes, uh, the specific speed, so it's 3.8. For 3.8, I think we are, it's mixed flow type. Mixed flow type, yes, uh, we are here. We are mixed flow, uh, mixed flow type, uh, still a mixed flow, okay. Uh, this is the main velocity uh, speed, uh, main feed velocity, uh, Reynolds number. Uh, uh, this is the hub diameter and shaft diameter. Okay. For 4 kilowatts, now let's see what is going on. Oh, yes. This is the photovoltaic system. For 220 watts, we have uh, open circuit voltage is. Uh, 58 short circuit current is uh, 8.4 8.5 almost uh, maximum voltage maximum current per module and we have here uh, module efficiency cell efficiency a number of cells per module module dimension weight and the price of module per watt okay so we are going for 4 kilowatts, we are going at 5 kilowatt hour per meter square. We, are, we have to deal with, this is 20 number of modules. This cell area, centimeter square per one module. Uh, module area is 2.2 meter square. Total system area is almost 50. And battery storage, battery hour, watt hour, ampere hour, a number of batteries. And this is the total costs for the PV systems is 4,400 US dollar. Okay. So let's go dynamically. I mean, we have to set our model to infinity and let's go for dynamically, dynamic system with, in, let's try the other uh, photovoltaic systems. Sure, if we are going. Uh, yes, for the bump. Let's see the bump first. And the photovoltaic system. Oh, sure. So, yes, here. Okay. For, for the bump, let's see dynamically if we change some parameters for some specific study and so on. Let's hit run. Yes, now. For the bomb, let's try to uh, change uh, the static head. And now we have a change in power increasing. Okay, let's change the mass flow rate. Yes, increasing mass flow rate will increase, uh, sure, uh, the load and the head and head losses and so on. Uh, and the other parameter with some kind of decreasing as uh, the speed let's increase the uh, rpm yes sure specific uh, increasing the specific uh, uh, speed and so on the effect of changing on uh, on photovoltaic systems uh, i'm sorry we have to yes this one Yes. Let's watch. Okay. That uh, sure the total area. Let's see the total area. If we increasing. Yes. Increasing solar radiation uh, um, means uh, lower area. Sure. So, so uh, the area is decreasing. As you can see here decreasing because you are increasing uh, uh, the efficiency of the system uh, and the input of the system to uh, from the solar radiation and so on 
so we can uh, address some uh, ideas, address some data. Let's see here if we the last one. So let's going for uh, for example uh, module area. Yes, this is a module area because we decrease increase uh, solar radiation and this is the total area the total area increase because we increase the mass flow rate of the pump after that after a while we increase the solar radiation so there's some kind of uh, decreasing but the, uh, the massive uh, effect was for uh, the mass flow rate sure because it's, uh, it's the total power and the same for let's see number of uh, cells uh, yes it's constant because we we didn't uh, change uh, the module type okay uh, number of modules yes of course increasing the load will increase the number of modules because we need more uh, photo photovoltaic panels in order to overcome uh, the, the load. Uh, this is a bombing power, sure. This is a bombing power. And uh, this is the feed that we dealt with. Uh, and so on. So, so we have a, a system engineering model for, for uh, irrigation bomb or bombing system that we can design that we can deal with uh, uh, by handling photovoltaics uh, uh, technique okay so the simple uh, uh, simplicity of the model uh, given give its uh, uh, give uh, this model uh, some advantages uh, we have many parameters to address many parameters to uh, to discover what is the effect uh, on uh, the system um, what is the massive effect uh, how, how we can deal with uh, how we choose our photovoltaic panel how we can choose our bomb and so on okay uh, sure, we have uh, another uh, model to be downloaded. Don't forget to develop bump model for extra variations. Uh, this model is for many types of bumps, like uh, portable diesel water bump, uh, clean water single stage bump, vortex bump, uh, deep well bumps, and so on. And sure, centrifugal bump. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to. Uh, like, share and subscribe and uh, thank you very much.